Hi everyone, this is Fake Hair Mama. Thanks for joining me today. Today I am showing you a wig that I hope <laughs> will become one of my favorites. I have been looking for a duplicate or replacement for Rebel that I really enjoyed wearing last year and she's since been discontinued. And one of my viewers um, recommended this wig and it, she really piqued my interest. So I went ahead and purchased her. I got her through Vogue Wigs. They had a special going on um, for 20% off and they are always running sales. I've signed up for their emails and their shipping was actually pretty quick. I ordered her on a Thursday evening and got her on a Monday. So I thought that was pretty good for standard shipping. And um, I I also found her on other websites, but they were charging much more for shipping. And so this was definitely the better deal. <laughs> and I, Chili V is made by Vivica Fox. And so is this one, A.W. Fajar. And they're both in the same color. However, the coloring on Chili V is seems more chunky and um, it may not even matter once I have her on and have her styled and blended, <laughs> but the coloring is just um, seems a little bit different to me, which I have noticed with other colors and in um, having them in different wigs, they uh, the color pattern is different. So let's take a look at how they did the coloring on the A.W. Fajar. And so you have the blend of blonde on the top and at the bottom here you have like a reddish blonde. So that's how the coloring is on this one. So this is how she came and that's how the other one came as well. Just some plastic packaging with some cardboard. And this one also has a lace front, which will need to be trimmed. This is actually my first lace front wig and my first time that I'll be trimming <laughs> the lace. I've watched a few um, videos online to just to get more comfortable with the process. And it seems pretty um, easy, I guess. So I'm just gonna get this netting off. Some more cardboard in the middle. Okay. <laughs> so we do have some gorgeous curls here. And now that I have her out of the box, she kind of looks nice. I really like that color, very soft. Let's get all these um, tags off. <laughs> so the AW Fajar does have a very basic cap. And this one, um, the lace front does have some hand tied fibers in there. They're describing it as hand tied to Swiss lace. And there is our lace front. The lace front actually looks like it's done very well. I think we'll know better once we <laughs> get her trimmed up. So let's take a look at this cap. Okay, so there is just a strip of fabric here in the front. And then this is kind of where the hand tied area is. So you can see that there's going to be good ventilation in that area. 
and then we do have some open ear tabs and there's a fairly sturdy metal stay in there and in the nape we have the um, hook adjusters so again um, I always recommend once you figure out where you want those adjusters then um, sew them in place so they don't come unhooked and you have that dangling <laughs> that would be a dead giveaway <laughs> that you're wearing a wig okay i'm just going to give her a few shakes loosen up some of those curls i think i'm gonna love this <laughs> beautiful curls Definitely similar to Rebel. Rebel has more spiral curls, but I love these as well. And I like the way that they have, they've already kind of directed the hair away from the face. So this is the top of the wig. So you do have, I think once you have her on, you're not gonna see that wefting unless these curls fall forward. <laughs> Let's try her on with the lace still there and see what she looks like. I would be curious to know if you have chili V. <laughs> All right, where's our lace? Here it is, okay. There we go. That is too far back. So she is a little shorter than Rebel. Her curls might loosen up over time. I do love this color. I was really afraid that it would be like the highlights would be too chunky. And I don't always, not always crazy about that kind of um, coloring. Okay, see if you can get a close up of that lace front. Okay, let's take a look and see what she looks like around. <laughs> I do love my curly girls. Okay, I am going to get set up to uh, trim that lace front. I have an assortment of scissors. I have no idea which ones are gonna work. I'll show you what I have. <laughs> so some people uh, will use the pinking shears with um, these serrated blades. I think these are gonna be too long um, to work, you know, make it easy to work. Um, or maybe not, we'll see. These were passed down to me from my mom. She's <laughs> no longer sewing, but I got um, inherited a bunch of different types of scissors and, and whatever else. <laughs> I had also pulled out the, I didn't know that she had given me a pair of these. These are just little craft scissors for paper. So they, these probably won't work on the um, lace fabric. And then I just have some little, these are my hair cutting scissors and then these little snips. If the serrated blade doesn't work out, then you can um, kind of cut in a zigzag type pattern the same way that it would come out using these scissors, um, being careful not to um, cut away any hair that is meant to stay there in that lace front. She's really cute. Now that I got my glasses on. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get set up and get to work on that lace part. Okay, I have her set up on my wig head. 
Um, some people just kind of do it freehand or they do it um, while they're wearing the wig. But until my skills get a little better, um, we're going to do it this way. So what some people have done is just cut it into sections to make it easier to get in there. Okay, I am just going to try these scissors. I really don't know how sharp they are, so I'm just going to try it like... Oh, yeah. Okay, so they're working good. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> so I am quite pleased at the quality of the the lace front here. And from what I was reading, you don't want it to be too close. You want to leave some of the lace there to blend in with your skin. And also to maintain the integrity of the lace so it's not um, falling apart on you. to this part. I may have to trim this up more. Um, seems like I have more than, more like half an inch there. I think some hair clips might have been useful here to clip this hair back. This one just kind of goes around the ear. All right. I'm going to use a, don't laugh, I got a clothespin. It's what I got handy. <laughs> so this is more like go around your ear Devonite would be a good option if you're looking for a budget-friendly lace front. Of course, I have nothing to compare it to since this is my first lace front, but... Try her on and see where we're at with the 
lace front the way it is before I trim any more. Okay, here we are. I'm pretty happy so far. <laughs> I would welcome any suggestions or comments if you have like done this type of lace front trimming before, if you've worn Chili V before. <laughs> but let's get a close up at that lace front. So from what I'm seeing, it looks pretty seamless. I haven't looked close up in my own mirror. <laughs> so I may touch her up. I don't know. Some people will um, put some makeup uh, concealer if the lace front is um, too noticeable against your skin tone. Then you may want to just blend it in with some of your, your makeup. But just adorable. <laughs> so I will leave the price that I paid for Chili V down in the description box below. If you look below the title of the video, if you click on the word more, it'll open up the information. And like I said, I've been very, I was very happy with um, Vogue wigs and their <laughs> service. She is very cute, and I like that. Well, <laughs> I think this might need a little, just a little adjustment there. So she's not falling in my face. But I would not be afraid to try another lace front. And I am not sure if I will need to secure her with some It Stays. The one thing you need to be careful with that I have read with uh, lace fronts is you don't want to be pulling on the lace because you're going to either rip it or stretch it. Um, so if you need to adjust, you would just want to kind of lift up the fibers and adjust where it is that way. Wow. I really love this color. I am glad it turned out well. I was a little concerned, like I said, when I was just seeing her in the package. But very cute. I will definitely wear this one to work. She would also be great with a headband or, you know, even just pulling back this side here. If you feel like this is always falling over. Doesn't seem to be falling over right now. Just gorgeous. I love the length. Very cute. She'll be cool for summer. And she'll definitely be a grab-and-go wig, especially now that um, now that I have that lace trimmed. I am feeling some itching around here, but my eczema is also like flaring up right now. So that could be part of it because I'm feeling a little itchiness in the nape as well. And there's no lace back there. So I think when my skin is calm... She'll be fine. <laughs> I want to thank you for joining me today. Let me know if you've tried lace fronts before and any tips that you might have to share with everybody. <laughs> Please like and share this video and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And we will see you next time. Bye.